Hey, shout out to the body of Christ. It's your boy, Prince Fred, your favorite Israelite. Now, let me say this to you, quick, fast, and a hurry. This is the number one thing that I had about social media. I can't stand about people. Like, everything that you do in your life, you gotta share it. You gotta post it. Like, it get, it get pathetic now. It do, it get pathetic now. Like, you using social media to vent, rant, whatever. Like, what the heck is going on? Every single thing you do in your life, you put it on social media. I can't stand people that talk about, oh, I'm in the hospital. I've been in the hospital. Then it'd be like this. Hey, you would tell somebody close to you that came and stopped by, take a picture of me. I look you take a picture of him with his eyes closed and then you send it to him and then you post it hey look at me I'm this is the time when I was in a coma like what the heck like everything don't have to be broadcast on social media you know it's just my point to me it is it just get pathetic sometimes every time you're in the hospital oh look I'm here again going through this again why do you want to put personal stuff on social media for what oh man my boy my boy and then y'all be giving the names out oh my boy jerome williams <laughs> he doing 10 years man set him free dude no don't set him free keep him in there please keep him in there i don't want someone out here that got four bodies on his life right now and and and, and, and you want to be i don't want him free Keep him in there. The dude Jerome killed three people, four people, got tattoos of a teardrops on his eyes, and, and know that he did it. Talk about free Jerome. No, keep Jerome in, in there. Period. Period. I don't want this dude out. For what? So he'll mess around and kill somebody in my family? No, no. Put him in there. Keep him in there. You know, it's my bro. Like, we just can't put stuff. I said, we can't just. Share a picture, talk about social uh, things that happen in social media. We can't do that. We got to always put our dang lifestyle on social media that's benefiting absolutely nobody. Oh, man, look at this chick. She cheating. She cheating on me. You know, how dare you cheating on me, uh, uh, Tiffany Grant? I knew you wasn't. Uh, 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 I knew you wasn't my wife. And I hate you. Like, why, why Why? do you want to do that? Why everything in your life has to be shared? Oh, yeah, this is where I'm at now. I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida eating shrimp. Take a picture of the sky and the ocean. And then you want to go back down. And, and, and then you scroll down. And you see them eat. Like, why everything? Like, you, you don't have to broadcast every single step in your life. That junk, I don't get it. If I go to the hospital, I'm not letting nobody know but the immediate family. I don't want social media to know what the heck I'm doing every second. For what? For what? Like y'all act like y'all can't keep nothing private. Can't keep absolutely nothing private. Yeah, I just went out here to just bought a new car. Who cares? If you bought a new couch, who cares? You just want people to see what you're doing to give you a freaking pat on the back. Like, what's wrong with you? You, That's a child. That's what kids do. Look, mommy. Look, mommy. I, I just built a Lego, man. Look, mommy. Look, mommy. I just got done playing with glue. Like, that's, people don't do that. When you grow, you don't do that. You don't try to get validation for people. You handle your business. And when you move, you move. You make magic. If you want something, you go get it. It's crazy how, uh, uh, and then, then y'all want to try to, uh, put a little season on it with, with Jesus. You get a new car. Thank you, Jesus. You know, he blessed me. You know, dang, where well, after that, you go on a sucker cock or something. Right after that, you're getting plunged by three different dudes. 
I couldn't get it without without you, Christ. Stop it. Dude, yeah, I just got this new home. Dude, you literally about to go snort some freaking coke. I couldn't get it without you, Lord. Stop it, man. This y'all could this 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 crazy, man. This crazy. This is foolish, man. Like you said, I don't you don't need to tell every single step or every single progress that you do. It just comes off like you just can't do nothing for yourself and you gotta be validated to do absolutely any everything and anything you do. I just got a new job. You just get, you get fired every three months. It's not like you leaving and getting a new job. You getting fired. I got a new job. Praise God. Stop getting fired. It's just mind blowing, man. Your man cheat. You want to blast him out? Like that's personal. Like, why do you want to let the whole world know that the dude, you, like, you trying to blame him. But if you want to keep it a buck, you don't want looking like a fool. Because you the one knew he was cheating the whole time. It's mind-blowing, man. It's mind-blowing. I, 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 I don't get it. I don't understand it. Like, why do you have to have people always in your business for what for what if you want to get on social media and say hey keep me in prayer cool but don't I, I don't need to know everything that's going on keep me in prayer because i just got done messing around and this person gave me hiv dang like dude i don't need to know all that man why do you want the world to know that? I don't get it, man. You are grown. You're not a child. You're grown. Keep people out of your business. It's your boy, Prince Fred. Christ.